could I have caught COVID-19 after say going to a conference in early January and then coming down with a cold or something similar? So was that weird fever, that weird respiratory illness I got in January actually COVID-19 and I just didn't know? I've been getting this question anecdotally a lot from many different people in my life. So I'll address it here. We are now seeing evidence that there was community spread within the US as early as January. That being indicated by small genetic changes we saw in the virus that was sampled from people in Washington. So that was one of the earliest points of contact from, for the virus from other countries, at least where we caught it first in terms of confirmed cases of COVID-19. So noting the small genetic changes that took place in those strains of the virus, as opposed to those who, that were circulating earlier in time in other countries, we could tell that the virus had been there longer. And also we've now clocked the earliest deaths in the US to early February, which would indicate that those people contracted the virus either in mid to early January even. That said, while the virus was spreading in communities in the US as early as January, your likelihood of having caught it depends on where you live and where whether you were traveling, whether you're interacting with people who are traveling. In early January, it's likely that cases of more common respiratory illnesses, more familiar respiratory illnesses, likely largely outweighed actual cases of COVID-19 in the US. So given that we were at nearing the peak of influenza season and also the season in which we contract a lot of common colds from various viruses that are already circulating. It's more likely given the prevalence of those that we know about that you caught one of those as compared with COVID-19. That said, we don't know the true prevalence of COVID-19, especially tracking all the way back to January. Even now, we don't know the true prevalence and that's because our diagnostic testing is not ubiquitous across the US. So all that to say, while there's a slight chance it could have been COVID, depending on where you live and what people you interacted with really changes the likelihood. The way to tell potentially would be to get an antibody test. And if your body launched a robust enough immune response against the virus, you would likely have antibodies specific enough to attach to that virus if you were to come into contact with it again. And these would still be circulating in your blood and could be detected by an antibody test. Although if you're not currently ill, it's less pertinent, but getting a positive result from an antibody test could mean that you could then go on to donate plasma in a clinical trial or something to that effect. So that would be important to know. Um, but beyond that, just as the curiosity, we don't know if you had COVID-19 in early January. There's some chance, but not a huge one. I'm so sleepy.